to have a very special squad builder around the Junior Malanda, the 20 years old youngster that passed away 10th of January 2015 in a car crash and when I, when I heard this for the first time I was absolutely shocked because this guy was prob probably one of the best young talent in Belgium together with Eden, Torgan and Thiele Mons and Hazard brothers this guy was absolutely fantastic already playing for the first team of Wolfsburg and had just incredible potential as this guy improved so much during just one year but now he passed away and it's absolutely shocking 20 years old and he definitely deserves to be in the better place right now so rest in peace Junior Malanda and uh, this team is basically going to be a this is going to be a tribute squad around him and it's actually a pretty good squad to be honest. I play with it in around 17 games and it, it has some fantastic players in it. So we're going to go through this team. Uh, Malanda was actually a very nice player to play with. Scored me two goals. One of these goals was absolutely great. Screamer outside the box. It was a very nice shot. But uh, we just get into this team. And we start with two center backs and a goalkeeper. So goalkeeper is going to be Timo Horn. One of the best goalkeepers, silver goalkeepers this year can buy in the Bundesliga. Very nice all-rounded stats, but he was like he was quite inconsistent in games. Some games he was absolutely fantastic. In, in the others, he was a little bit inconsistent. But overall, for 1,100 coins, this guy was a steal. Um, Lankamp, Sebastian Lankamp, as a first centre back, 600 coins with decent pace and de very nice defending and physical stats. And with John Anthony Brooks, the legend from the World Cup in Brazil, scored against Ghana. And um, his cardio ultimate team looks very, very good as well, with 74 base and 74 defending and a good physical. Uh, right back, we're going to have Olkowski. Uh, his pace is very good as long as he's also very strong. Got assist in one, 17 games I play with him, but his defending is really, really bad. Um, he's very. He's, he, he was just little. He was just like gold players were just too much for him. Even though he's very quick, he like he could not defend for save his life. His defending was very very poor, but pretty decent for only 1,300 coins and very very fast. So it's going to help help you up a lot. And the second left back is going to be a Ponce. Uh, this guy was actually pretty pretty nice play to play with. 80 for pace, 80 physical, felt. Felt better than Orkovsky, in my opinion, but um, still a little bit low rated and uh, still got pretty low uh, defending and uh, dribbling. So uh, against like very high rated gold players, this team is going to be a little bit uh, screwed <laughs> pretty much. But um, uh, because the fullbacks are not the best in the silver category, but they are pretty good. Pons was actually pretty strong, he was very strong on the ball. Good pace and to help up a lot in the attack. Now move on to essential midfielders. 
uh, central defense defensive midfield as well. We're going to go with Gulia for Goey, uh, the first one. I don't know how to pronounce this name. It's very, very long and hard name to pronounce, but um, four assists in 17 games, 1,000 coins. Uh, yet again, this t this team have pretty crappy formation because it's all based on pretty much defending and uh, central defensive midfielders. Only one central midfielder, so it's more of a defensive formation. But uh, this guy was a nice job all around the stats very nicely uh, fits into the team and pr very nice attacking as well second defensive midfielder is going to be uh, Jesus Molina 215 coins absolute steal uh, very good defensive and very strong player indeed with low high work rate so pretty much always in the defense defending a lot and also d with decent passing dribbling and pace he can deliver and make some damage in the opposite team but uh, yeah two assists in 70 games yet again these two were mostly of defensive uh, players and this guy was a little bit like up and down the pitch so that's why I considered quite a bit of goals because this formation is basically not the best formation to actually play with but nevertheless pretty nice uh, team in general as I said and now we move on to the attack the attack made pretty much all the damage in this team left winger Michael Arroyo Right winger Wellington Silva. Start with Wellington Silva, seven goals, three assists in 17 games. Uh, this guy, a little bit hyped in my opinion, because he is not worth 62,500 coins. On the PC market, he's going for 110k at the moment, so I'm definitely going to sell him because I'm going to get shitload of profit and maybe I'm going to buy him. Uh, when the team of the season is out because then the price is going to be much cheaper or even when it goes down to like 80k but uh, for now uh, I'm going to sell him because even though it was actually very good in game he's just not worth it he's too expensive and too overhyped in my opinion but five star skills five three star weak foot this guy also great agility and balance his dribbling I found it a little bit iffy it says 80 but um, it's mostly because of agility and balance, but even though we have very high balance, he's very weak, so um, he kind of gets, he kind of lost the ball quite a bit. His dribbling used to be better but in FIFA 14, my opinion, definitely better dribbler in FIFA 14 than he is at the moment, but still pretty good dribbling, and he's very, very fast, he's rapidly fast. So, uh, his, even even his pace with his skill moves going to be a deadly combination, it really, really was. Uh, shooting. It's a little bit of a. Uh, um, it's a little bit of a two stories, pretty much. Sometimes he's actually very good. Uh, his shooting is ridiculous. He can score some absolute screamers. Like he scored in one of the games I play with him. Absolute scream outside the box, just 25 yards out. Not even a single touch on the ball. Just smash the ball in the back of the nuts. But sometimes his bo his shots just go wide on target. But inside the box, for example, he's just absolutely deadly. Pretty much scores everything inside the box. And he's also got very good passing. 69 passing, a huge improvement from last year. And overall, I think he was a very very good player. He is actually a very very good player to play with but just not worth the cost in my opinion uh, then we move on to Michael Arroyo this guy is an absolute monster in this game uh, even though only scored me three goals because I was mostly go going for like a screamer from long range because this guy has some probably one of the best long shots <laughs> for a silver player you, you will probably ever experience 5 star skill moves and also 82 shot power and 78 long shot with long shot taker traits. This guy can score you some absolute screamers for your compilations. It was absolutely fantastic play in my opinion. I'm definitely going to keep him as this went up for in like he went up to 30k on the market. I bought him for 30,500 coins, which is a very, very great bargain. So I'm going to keep him for my Colombian slash Ecuadorian or like a skew hybrid with Quadrado as well. But because this guy was very, very good. He's fast, he's very quick, 85 sprint speeds. Maybe not the fastest, but well, he get he gets off the mark so quickly. He's so fast, like he 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 accelerates in pretty much no time. He's very, very fast. His acceleration is brilliant. Uh, his shooting inside the box is very poor. He, he he pretty much can score. He can score anything inside the box. His finishing is poor, but his long shots are incredible. As long as his set pieces, set pieces are also very very good. 
all his uh, free kick stats over 70. Dribbling, decent dribbling, ball control is a little bit uh, crappy at times, but 77 dribbling does the job. He gets past players quite easily and 74 physical, he's pretty strong on the ball, you have 78 strength, so he's pretty strong and he's just fantastic player, I'm definitely going to keep him. And the player to sum this team up, it's going to be Tiavi Bifuma. Um, 6 goals, 3 assists in 17 games I play with him, 90 pace, 74 dribbling and 73 shooting with also 71 physical, he's strong, he got incredible shot power, 84 bloody shot power, it's absolutely insane for a silver player, very rapid and very quick and also got good dribbling and like silver players mostly don't, don't, don't have the best of dribbling. They probably based on the pace and uh, like pretty good finishing, but uh, most of the silver strikers just don't have the good dribbling. But this guy's dribbling was absolutely fantastic, and uh, he was just getting past players very easily. I didn't score most of goals with him. I could score many, many more, but uh, I was just going for like a nice goals, maybe for like having in them in this video. But I decided to just uh, go with a kind of a short video as I made at the beginning of this. Uh, uh, squad builder, but uh, yeah, 73 shooting is finishing inside the box. He's very, very good. Shot power is ridiculous. This guy has some powerful, goddamn ass shooting, and his pace is very good and it's very rapid. So this is going to be the team, guys. This team was actually very, very enjoyable to play with. Definitely going to try. Definitely recommend you to try out. Of course, rest in peace, Malanda. This is the team I made for around him. I made for him pretty much. Tribute team. It might be a very nice idea to make it kind of a squad like this because I probably never, I have not seen anyone doing s similar things uh, as this one. So, um, pretty special squad builder, but uh, yeah, definitely worth making in my opinion. So, this is going to be the team, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, rest in peace, Malanda, as long as all the other uh, great professionals that passed away during the very short period. Is very short time span and this is the team and hope you enjoy it and see you next time guys peace